Am I actually in this now? Normally my head's cut off. No, your head's still cut off. <laughs> no, I lean down. No, can't do, no, don't do that. I'll lean down. You have to lean down. Okay, I'll have to lean. <laughs> well, you have to stand on the stool. Last night we did our, um, our Zoom slightly wine tasting and it was with Champagne and Prosecco and Lambrusco and the Rosso. If you just take the cork, if you're right-handed, take the cork in your left hand. Hang on a hold minute, it. this could go terribly it wrong. It won't go terribly wrong. I hope it does. Hold it Particular and just turn, just, just turn the bottle slightly and then the, loosen the cork and the pressure of the Champagne We'll just ease it out. You don't have well, to. Well, that. I have opened many bottles of champagne Mostly in my life. Mostly for me. <laughs> You've also savoured a few, Mark. <laughs> and of course, we couldn't finish it all off. Couldn't finish. Try as we might. So, what time is it? It's one minute to lunch. One minute to twelve. So I reckon in one minute, whilst we're cooking. Uh, by the way, our aubergine dumplings à la parmigiana. By um, Otto Lenghi. Otto Lenghi. We can. Uh, it's, a shame to waste it's it. Saturday. It's Saturday lunchtime, and we're cooking, and the clock says 11.59. We'll need to wait a yeah, minute. We, no, we, it would be right. <laughs> Got to go to the gym down. You need to leave down. I'm going to need. So, how tall are you? Six foot Six one. Six foot one, yeah. And I'm six five foot, foot one. one. Yeah. Come on. There. Hey! <laughs> Big down. Cheers, on you. Cheers. <laughs> Actually, it's kept it too. We've got the, these little stoppers. Lean down. We've got the stoppers. <laughs> these stoppers. And they work, so they keep it fizzy when you can't finish the bottle off. And uh, not only do they keep it fizzy, but carbon dioxide gas, which is given off, is also an inert gas, so it stops it oxidising. So this is a double whammy. Put these on, keeps it fresh and fizzy, but also stops it oxidising. Okay, very good. Lesson. Lean down. Okay, not working out. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Preheat the oven to 165. Yeah. Spread the breadcrumbs out on a baking tray Done. and bake for 12 minutes until lightly browned and dried out. And put them in the oven. Set a, yeah. How long? 12 minutes. 12 minutes, okay. For the breadcrumbs. Okay, yeah, Set I'll put the breadcrumbs. Set cool. Okay, well, I'll, I'll, let me just put the breadcrumbs in. Okay, so my first job is to chop up the aubergines yep. and they need to be cut into two and a half centimetre cubes. So four aubergines, two and a half centimetre cubes. Yeah, that's okay. about an in Yeah, cutting. And then they get roasted in the oven. So I've added half a teaspoon of salt and a good grind of pepper. So once the breadcrumbs come out of the oven, they go in. Yep. Okay. So now we tip them onto two trays because it's too much for one. We're going to spread them out as much as possible. And the oven needs to be on 220 fan and they need to cook for half an hour with um, tossing them around after 15 minutes. So we're going to have 75 grams of grated parmesan and some ricotta, 100 grams of ricotta. Breadcrumbs will be ready. Um, can you get a mat out to put them on for me? I can. Where would you like it? Uh, <laughs> Your head won't be in the picture <laughs> again. You don't move, Carl oh, Mark. Come on, one minute. One minute, it takes a long time <laughs> when you're waiting. <laughs> How do you even talk about football? How we done it? No, it's the international break, so there's no football. But, no, no. Right, so that comes out. This goes up to what temperature? 220. 220. Fan. Fan. So it's under the fan. It's coming out. Yeah. It needs to cool down. They just need to cool down. Okay, put those out the way. Yeah. That's why I got that out for you. Champagne back in the fridge. Okay. So, the temperature's. Oh! Got through any of the clapping. So, yeah, temperature's right now. It's yeah, 220. Right temperature. Yeah. Aubergines. Okay, the aubergines, they need to be tossed halfway through cooking. Okay. It's supposed to take half an hour. Okay, put the time. Oh. 
Dear. Five is on. And then once they come out, so everything has to cool, and we're going to walk Agatha in before we do the rest of it. Yeah, and then we'll come back and do the rest. Okay. chickens. That's Betty, the dark one. That's Raquel, the ginger one. Sadly, our um, last two chickens, uh, our previous two chickens, which you'd have seen on the film, were both got by a fox um, whilst we were away, sadly. And um, we've replaced them with these two new young ladies. We name all of our hens after lady characters from Coronation Street. So this is Raquel and Betty. Well, we've just got back from a very wet walk with the dog. Uh, but that's it, we're in the kitchen now. And uh, gonna crack on with the cooking. Much happy to be back here. Check that my top of my head's in. Don't check that I'm not top of my head's in still. Okay, I'm not tall enough to look through the. to get on the sofa. You don't have to, you can see this. Oh, yeah. Just my head. Uh, only just. <laughs> just needs to go a bit higher. No, no, I can't. It does. It can. Look, the other thing is we finished the champagne. And look. You need to. We finished, <laughs> we finished the champagne and we still got the Prosecco left over from last night, so we'll have to. Start drinking that now. And now it's quarter to three. Yes, it's a long what's it? I don't know. Is that just is that starting too early or is it a late lunch? Wow. Well, mm. Let's see. Now this is the interesting bit. Take you, take you. Yeah, thank uh, you. We've got so, to put everything. No, we're going to roughly chop the aub aubergines into chunky mass. Well, that is, and you've got to use. Mm -hmm. I think you've just got to squish it in your hands. Okay. Yeah. I thought we chopped it up extra. You've already chopped it up finely. Okay. It's going to go into this bowl. No, it's not. It's so sad. We'll, we'll chop it up then. I think we did an extra chopping of it. Go on. And then we, we put it into there. Go on. And chop it. What am I going to do? I don't you know. You've got to chop the... And you've got to stop standing right in front of the camera. Yeah. 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 How many does this make? Oh, this makes four. Serves four, it says. Serves four, make. but not, not makes four, serves four. You just lost two tonight, so. We'll, we'll turn it into a me two meals for, for two, I think. Six, six cloves of garlic, crushed. Crushed, crushed and chopped. I want this. So I'm going to chop up the basil. Roughly chopped. And the parsley. Does the parsley go on? Parsley. Finely chopped. Do you want me to do the fine Parsley goes in the way. Why don't I do the fine no, chopping? No, you do the garlic. No, you do the garlic. I'll do the fine chopping. <laughs> Nothing about my husband is bossy. Now, we've been doing this the day after our Zoom tasting. And we've been drinking all the wines, the champagne, prosecco, and the. And we're about to drink the remaining bit of lambrusco, dry red lambrusco. Well, this is the prosecco, isn't it? Yeah. Got now. And I think that whoever's watching, if you're watching this, you should also watch the Zoom because we do record the Zoom wine tastings, uh, where you can see us tasting the wines in detail. Yeah. And talking to Clotilde. It's good fun. Sure, though, it's good fun. And uh, even if you're watching it in catch up TV, it's still good fun and it's still good to drink the wines. And what's the name of our YouTube channel? It's just a real wine company, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>
Should I can find it somewhere? <laughs> no, got some Look, isn't it called Mark and Rita at home? Uh, Mark and Rita in the kitchen. No. no. <laughs> Six cloves of yarn. One egg, one egg yolk, one and a half tea <laughs> tablespoons of flame flour. <laughs> oh my god. No, we didn't get to. Flour's gone in. A third of the garlic. Gone in. A third of the garlic. Yes. Um, quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Have we done that? And we'll grind the pepper. That's your job because I've already got mucky hands. You can grind the pepper. Is the pepper gone? Nope. I'm waiting all the way now. Yeah. Right, there you go. You need a spoon. I don't have to do it with my hands. You can, you can start off with your hands or a spoon. Well, I'd much rather have a spoon. But you will need to use your hands. <laughs> so mix well with lightly oiled hands. And don't stand in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's great because they look all well, well, And then with lightly see it. oiled hands, shape it into 16 golf ball sized dumplings. Mm. And weight, it gives you a weight. Oh, yeah, as well. 55 grams. That's reckon. what we want. 55 I like to make my weight. Yeah, we've got to make sure it's properly mixed. Well, that's really your department. Okay, I'll give it a go. And I think you should make them as well because uh, I don't like doing it. Okay. Ready? Turn it on. 55 grams. Yeah. There you go, 55. How much is that? 53. 52. Mm -hmm. How precise do I need to be? 53. Just, you know, with all these things, Mark, you have to be. Right, one. I'm going to drink my one. 55. 43. 52, 53. I'm going to start with 61. That looks very big. <laughs> all right. I'm glad you're an expert. <laughs> 58. Was that 143? Did you no, say? no. 55, exactly. Very good. How many did I make to be made? 16. That looks bigger than that one. Yeah, you can compress all those without standing right in front of the camera. Oh, for goodness sake, how am I supposed to do it? Was the battery just gone? So, miraculously, the things come on again. I'm just going to lick the bowl. Look at that one there. That one looks enormous. The cool thing about this is that there's no raw meat because it's vegetarian. Just as well, eh? You can lick the bowl. So now for the sauce. Time for the sauce. I'm adding the garlic. The garlic goes in. Okay. One minute. I know you're stirring it. And then after one minute, you add the tomatoes, tin tomatoes, tomato paste, sugar, chili flakes, paprika, oregano, teaspoon of salt, good brown pepper, cook for eight minutes till it's thickened, then pour in the water, simmer, 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 and then you're ready. So now we're batch cooking the dumplings, so they're going to be batch cooked. They're going to be fried all over and set aside, ready for cooking in the sauce. So, ready to go. go in the oven? We'll go in the oven, yeah. Let's get more brand off. And, uh, and uh, let the dog out. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, he's ready. Yippee, let's see what it looks like. If I don't drop it, that would be foolish. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Okay, that looks good. Sizzling. It's got to be sizzling. Oh, Sprinkle some olives on. Not many olives. Not all of them, half of them. No. How stupid or what? And then grate some parmesan. Oh, I olives. Grate some parmesan. Okay. And we could cook some rice in a rice machine-y thing. I've got the rice. Yeah, these machines, these rice machines are good. You just basically oh, can't want it's all steamed up. Steamed <laughs> up. Steamed up. You put, you put rice in water, you turn it on, and it turns itself off and it's finished. It's brilliant. There we go. 
Hello, Mark and Rita from The Real Wine Company here. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, well, we hope you did. Um, what you've got to do, you've got to like it. Subscribe. Subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe, but so you just press the subscribe button, which gets more subscribers. Like. And like it. And comment. And send, leave a comment or something. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.